Now, Graham Ashton, the Chief Commissioner, is finishing up after five years. I have spoken to him regularly over that period of time, for which I thank him. And he's, he's in the studio. I'm broadcasting from home. He's in the studio with a photograph of me sitting in front of him. Chief Commissioner, that's a bit confronting. Yeah, it's a very flattering photo too, Neil. Is it, it doesn't look like a mug shot, does it? <laughs> no, you're smiling and uh, you look tremendous. Can't be me. Can't be me. If we, if we can, first, the serious business of the day before we get to your, your time as Chief... We've got a stabbing at Fountain Gate. We've got a man wanted for questioning over a stabbing murder in the city, and we're told he's on bail. We've got a young boy killed out of Deer Park, stabbed. Are knives re-emerging as the issue of the year? Are they the problem? Well, certainly uh, they're becoming an issue for us uh, and have for a little while. Uh, it's certainly true. We've gone uh, with a lot of the gang-related activity. It uh, has, you know, over time tended to be a lot of assaults, uh, kids brawling, and now, over recent times, uh, the more use of knives involved, so it's definitely has had an escalation in knife-related uh, crime. And so Shane uh, Patton, the new chief, I know this is high on his agenda, uh, even starting next week, to uh, look at ways to how we will address knife crime. It has uh, been internationally an issue for a long time, and there's been a lot of work done, particularly in England, on knife crime, where it's been a massive issue. So uh, but what we're are just kid, looking kids to carrying that. knives, are they? Yeah, carrying knives from uh, from home mainly. Uh, they're as you know, it's really hard to regulate knives. Um, there is, there are regulations around them, but it's, uh, you know, knives can be found in every home, and uh, any knife can be lethal. So, it is, uh, it is a challenge in dealing with knife crime. And uh, as I say, around the world, people have been grappling with it for some time. COVID, as you say, well, well it's still with us. You, you'll be out issuing more fines now, I'd assume. We've got this surge. Yeah, those numbers will probably pick up again. They certainly dropped right off there uh, as as things were eased but uh, now they've tightened up again the, the fines will, will probably kick off again i know shane he's been our shane patton has been our uh, covid commander over recent months um we've, we've had 10 times the amount in fines as new south wales why is that um, are victorians that much worse behaved oh it's been a combination of things we've had uh, more uh, we've had a different sort of enforcement policy and particularly uh, early on and making sure that we were um you know we were finding people and we when we Took a while, I think, to get the discretion in the right spot for that. But Still, ten times what New South Wales had. Yeah, that's right. But I think I might have mentioned this before that what I noticed was different as well was the amount of calls we were getting to yeah. our, our yeah. assistance line. It was massive increase, massive, and a lot of that was us responding then to those calls. So and you're comfortable with the army coming in? Yeah, well, at the stage they're not involved in any of the police side of things. So um, I think they're involved in um, the logistic planning. I think there's talk about the hotels and the security side of things. Well, we're told they'll be going on some patrols with police. Uh, oh, we haven't been engaged on the police patrol side of things, so that that would be news to me. Are you comfortable with that sort of approach? Uh, well, I know Shane. Uh, as Shane similarly would have a view that we've we've got that um, side of it covered. So um, I'm not sure. Uh, if there were military assisting on patrols, I'm not sure what that would look like, but that's not something that's been discussed with us. Well, even the door knocking, uh, the minister told me they'll be doing some door knocking as well. Uh, well, certainly... Uh, Which you have been doing, haven't you? D8, yeah, we've been doing it in terms of checking people are there. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I think there's uh, what health are focusing on at the minute is having a more okay. deeper conversation with people just at random to talk about health and safety and uh, doing the right thing in terms of their, um, you know, the health management. Because it is a difficult balance, isn't it, the police and the army? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, and the uh, army themselves don't have uh, any local domestic powers. So, um, you know, that's whatever they're doing uh, needs to be very much in support.